Now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Really found the warm-up this afternoon, that despite the fact that we actually got to enjoy a little bit of sunshine. But these temperatures are kind of pathetic when you consider the fact that we're getting closer and closer to mid-July. Highs only climbed into the mid-upper 80s. Florence actually did see 90 degrees, so... That's kind of nice. It's right around where they should be this time of year. An average high temperature over in northwest Alabama, right around 91 or 92. Everybody else, Pulaski saw 86, Fayetteville saw 85, Huntsville International saw 86, Coleman saw 85 degrees, much the same across northeast Alabama. Scottsboro, good evening. You saw a high this afternoon of 86 degrees. Fort Payne, good evening. You saw a high this afternoon right around 85. Temperatures don't really cool off that much as we head into the overnight. I also think just a little bit of patchy fog is liable to develop in some of the more fog-prone locations. I've only got a low right around 71 degrees. Now, most of us are going to be dry, but I'm not going to rule out an isolated shower across North Alabama's other than Middle Tennessee, and I'm not going to rule out that isolated shower as we head into the morning either. 75 by 7, 77 by 8, 81 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock. As you head out the door for your trip to work, maybe allow yourself a couple of extra minutes just in case it is raining, and of course, do not forget the umbrella. If you don't need it in the morning, you might actually need it in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms are going to be possible Friday afternoon through Friday evening. I've got a high right around 86 degrees. Scattered showers are going to stay in the forecast through Saturday and Sunday. But don't worry, don't be canceling any of your weekend plans. We are going to get to enjoy a little bit of sunshine, and temperatures actually aren't going to be that bad. A couple of degrees below average, but they're still not going to be that bad. Highs hanging out in the mid upper 80s, both Saturday and Sunday. Pinpoint Viper, for the most part, nice and quiet this evening. We are completely quiet across North Alabama. It's not until you get up in the southern middle Tennessee that we are picking up on a couple of isolated showers, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms. That associated with a cold front. Cold front sitting back off to our northwest. Out ahead of this cold front, some isolated, widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. We're not really talking about a distinct line of showers and thunderstorms, and that's going to continue to be the case as this cold front draws closer to the Tennessee Valley. Now, don't be getting too excited because the cold front's not actually going to move through the Tennessee Valley, so our temperatures aren't dr going to drop. We're not going to get rid of the humidity because the cold front is actually going to move through to our north. But what is going to move through the Tennessee Valley are those scattered showers and thunderstorms we've been talking about. By the time we get to the lunch hour, that's exactly what you see across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Maybe a smidge more widespread across Northeast Alabama, but we're going to continue with this trend all afternoon. So while it may be more widespread across Northeast Alabama at one point in the day, might end up being a little more widespread across Northwest Alabama at another point in the day. And of course, there could also be some times where we are completely dry and actually getting to enjoy a little bit of sunshine. We do begin to dry out a little more by the time we get to Friday night and we'll stay dry through the overnight and then early into your Saturday morning. Still a fair amount of cloud cover Saturday morning. Not going to get to enjoy much in the way of any sunshine. That cloud cover sticks with us as we head into the afternoon. Beyond this, there are other opportunities for rain in the forecast. An opportunity for rain every single day through the next seven. A lot of opportunities for rain, but there's not necessarily going to be a lot of rain. Over the next week, many of us are talking about one, maybe one and a half inches on the extreme local end. We'd be talking about two inches of rainfall over the next week. Have a good look at the next seven days. Temperatures stay well below where they should be this time of year. Well, Jordan, it looks like the weekend is going to have some rain, but like mm -hmm. you said, people shouldn't be too alarmed by that because, you know, we're coming up on it and people want to know what the weekend's looking like. So even if the day started and it's not raining, should right. they pack that umbrella in the car just in case? Oh, yeah, you should totally have an umbrella in the car just in case, just in case you're like that one group of people that yeah. find yourself under a little bit of rain. But I'm lucky. Yeah, the day's not going to be a waste and we're still going to get to enjoy some sun. All right. Thanks, Jordan. Let's